Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. This is a no contact, low communication reading for someone that you are thinking of today. And we're going to ask spirit, what is going on in this connection? Where are we headed? What does your person want you to know that maybe they aren't able to express at this time or a spirit wants for you to know? Spirit, I ask that you guide me for anyone who has found this message. What are the messages that you need me to hear? I am listening for you now. I'm taking control of our destiny. Sounds like I'm making a decision. Feels like I'm trying to figure things out. It's always been you from the start. Little bit of a, I'm sorry I pushed you away energy just came into me. Choosing you feels so right. I want to choose you is how it's coming into me. I feel like we have a conflict or a circumstance or it's not as easy as it should be. That it's not just so simple to be together. So there could be some complications or some confusion around this connection. I'm making my way back home to you. So are we working on being back together, Spirit? Is that what you're trying to share with me? But we have some complications or we have something going on with the timeline that is interfering with us being together. Spirit, please share with me. What is it you need me to hear? I have police. Okay. Did somebody get in trouble? Maybe your person is connected to law enforcement. Maybe somebody was arrested. Maybe they've got some legal issues they've got to go through. That would be very difficult. I have caution. Spirit saying to take it slow for some reason. And I have caught finding evidence and getting caught. So there's definitely something that has happened. If we had an, uh, an affair, if we had somebody that we just can't forgive at this time, we could have had trouble with this person or there could have been some kind of somebody had to call the cops because of a situation. So something could have, you know, really escalated um, for somebody out there that it just kind of turned for the worst. And that's not really where we wanted it to go. That's not for everybody, but let's see what the cards are saying. I definitely have, it's complicated for sure. Something's happened. I have a chariot. I have a lover's card. I have a nine of cups. Wow. And I have a three of pentacles. So this is coming into me as I do want to move forward with this love. I'm trying to get through something. I, I feel like it's legal issues of some kind or money problems, something like that. But I do have this beautiful connection. I feel that I know that we're supposed to be together. I do want to move forward. So their intentions are that they want to move forward. Their intentions are that they do want to be with you. But I feel like something is holding them back still, that there could be a reason holding them back. And I'm not quite sure. It could be something in the material world or it could be um, emotional. But I do have this confidence that I, I really care about you and I really love you. And I feel like if we work together, we could we could figure this out. I have a ten of pentacles. So I'm ho that came into me as I'm very hopeful. I'm hopeful that things are going to get better. I'm hopeful that it, over time things are going to change. It breaks my heart where we are today is how that just came into me. So this person isn't happy with where we are today. I'm sorry I pushed you away keeps coming into me. So there's something going on with that as well. I have a higher fan that just came into me as um, I hope everybody forgives me. There was it was not just you forgive me, but God forgives me that maybe they are they have some remorse for something that they've done or they wish they had made a different choice. But I do feel like they are 
struggling with this is much harder for me than I thought it would be. And it could be that they decided that in order for them to get out of a situation, they had to do it by themselves. They had, if you're in a third party situation that they have, you can't be there for them to end it. So they needed to end this or put this on hold and then figure out what they need to do to end something else. So I do feel like somebody's got to make a choice or a decision. Somebody's got to let somebody go is basically that. So I will say there's a third party or there's feelings involved with a third party. So it's definitely been an ongoing interference. Hidden shadows. Venture into dark memory where light can heal. Acknowledge the pain. We start to heal when we feel the feelings. And if your person is feeling the feelings, I'm sad, I'm lonely, I miss you. That is when we start to heal. And that's when we're willing to make the change. So your person has to feel this. If your person wasn't feeling pain, then they would just move on with their life and, and you would move on with your life. But they're feeling the pain and they they do want to move forward with this love. So it is a, a I feel trapped or I feel at least they think they feel trapped. We're never, ever trapped. It's always up to us to make a choice. But they feel like they're somehow trapped in a situation. They could have young kids. They don't want to leave their kids, you know, whatever the situation is. I have a resting place. All things are temporary. Find comfort in the present. Contemplate the moment. I'm just going to pull the word temporary out of that because that is one of my, I think, spiritual guided words. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But I feel like whenever I put things into context that things are happening in your life that are just temporary, it's not forever. I feel like that's my way of telling people that you are in motion, you are on the path that you're supposed to be on, and you're not going to be where you are right now forever. So sometimes that word temporary just kind of puts it into, I can handle temporary. I can't handle forever, but I can handle temporary, something like that. I have whirling winds amidst the chaos, find your anchor in the past experiences and rise above the turmoil. I do feel like this connection has had some chaos. It has some drama. It has had things that I didn't think would come into my life, whether it somebody had to call the police or somebody put a restraining order on somebody. Like never in my life did I think that I would have to do things like that um, in a connection. So there's something going on behind the scenes that, I guess I didn't know what I was getting in, into or just came into this connection somehow. But the chaos will have to be taken away and subside. Spirit, will things calm down? We will, will we find our way back together again? That's the most important. I have a three of swords. We're really having a hard time. Spirit just said we're hurting on both sides. It's not just one side that's hurting. I have a page of cups. I, I like that energy of I want to just feel young and happy and excited about this love. I don't want all this stuff going on around us anymore. So whatever this chaos has been, it's just been too hard on us. It really has come between us. And it, it's <laughs> it's probably very unhealthy in a lot of ways. There's the burden. And here's the queen. So the burden is I, I have to figure out a way to make whatever this thing that's holding me back. I have to release it. You deserve to be loved and I want you to be free. Like it's, it's a feeling of, of freedom. It's a feeling of we can be happy and free and joyful and that inner child in us can be playful because what we have right now isn't playful. What we have right now I feel is, is complicated and it's more than I signed up for. And there's something going on with that, but we can have this playful energy. We can go back to just falling in love and it just being kind of our world, something like that. 
It's just going to take a lot. I have temperance. I want balance and peace. So we could have pushed this person away. They could have pushed you away only because of the, the, the energy was, was starting to become toxic. The energy was chaos. The energy was too much going on. So one of us said, I just need some peace. I just need to calm down. And here's my temperance saying, just give me a chance to think. I have a seven of cups. That came into me as some options emotionally that I, I maybe I'm putting my energy into only one thing that I'm overthinking something or one, just one part about this connection that's driving me crazy. So maybe we need to just let something go. For example, if you're thinking about their ex all the time, get that ex out of your head, something like that. Uh, the nine of um, nine of pentacles is you're going to feel more secure. You should feel more secure than that. Like get something out of your head or get someone out of your head that's making your head spin. I have a five of swords, putting something to an end. Absolutely. This is very much a feeling of I just want the battle to be over. Whatever the, whatever you guys have been going through. How do we have the battle be over and how do we get back to, I guess, this peace and quiet and this feeling of we are made for each other, that we still want to be together, that we there's still a love here. So there's I'm going to say get the, somebody out of your head that shouldn't be there. <laughs> so whoever's uh, taking over your mind in the sense that you're thinking about what that person's thinking and feeling or whatever happened in the past with that particular person or if you, that your your person was with someone, you want to know now everything about that person and what happened that could be consuming you obsessive behavior. Uh, that's what spirit's talking about. Get somebody else out of your head. It, it, they don't want you thinking about anybody else but yourself right now and taking care of yourself. Let's see what some love messages are. I was projecting my all of my fears on you. Very much a feeling of, I don't know how to get myself out of this. It's not as easy. I want to say that it's more complicated than you know. Like I just feel like there's this all these reasons that we can't be together. And I, I after a while, <laughs> either somebody ma makes a move and makes a decision and you see that you're moving forward or they stay where they are because they're, they feel like they can't make a move and you move on. So you have to decide whether I'm going to wait for this. I know that we will have to fight for this love. And I do feel that in a sense that it's not going to be easy and whichever direction we go, there will be a day spirit saying that we're on the other side if we're, we are going to do this together. And we'll look back on it and say, I don't know how we did it. I don't know how we got through it, but we did. So for those of you that are wanting to fight for this, I would say claim it, own it. It's yours. I'll fight. I, I want to be with this person. I'll do whatever it takes to be with this person. Um, I know, I now know that I do need you in my life. That is when, that is when the pain starts to hurt. That three of swords comes in and I can't get over the hurt. I, I just, I'm just struggling. I miss you. My heart literally aches. And until you've had that heartache, you don't know what a heartache means. I mean, your, your heart physically hurts. You're, you're grieving you know, a, a relationship. So did it take that kind of pain to that for them to realize that they really need you and want you in their life? And now they're trying to figure out, OK, how? What do I do? Yeah, they've got to make some choices, Spirit saying. They've got to they've got to decide to that they're not a victim. They just said and that they can get out of any situation that they're in if they want to. I'm still desperately longing for you. So I, you could have given them an ultimatum and said, I'm not doing this anymore. When you decide you want to be with me all the time and only me, then then we'll be together. But I feel like something has to change 
pretty seriously. I ran because I couldn't face my shadows. This is too much work. It's too hard. I don't feel comfortable opening up. How you know? I don't want to talk about it. They may have just kept putting it on the back burner, saying, "I can't talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We'll deal with it in the future." You know, just always kind of pushing it to the side. You're still the only one I want, and I do believe that. I do believe this person really wants to be with you. If they had a choice right now in this moment but they are holding themselves captive by other choices they had made and they haven't made a decision. I can't give you what you need. So that is probably what they keep saying is, you know, they feel like they're torn apart. They feel like they are one foot in, one foot out and they're struggling. So I, I do feel that you're the only person who makes me feel alive. No doubt in my mind that they're probably much happier when they're with you than when they're not with you. But we're pushing each other away right now because it's become so hard. It's become so chaotic and it's just too upsetting to um, not have each other is how I feel that you're, that's why you're not together. I have a uh, strength. I have a Knight of Swords. I have a Two of Pentacles. There's the back and forth. There is the juggling, the decision making, the I've got to, you know, I got to figure this out energy. It even has a lot of movement, doesn't it? And then I have a Knight of Swords. The Knights are coming, the Knight and the King is coming into me as I'm gaining strength to talk that we're going to have a deep conversation of some kind together. We can come up with a solution is how spirit just said it together. We can figure this out. So it's, I hate to say it this way, but it's a little bit of a hang in there a little bit longer um, because somehow some way we're going to figure this out. Maybe we haven't been able to see it very clearly lately, but it's a little bit of your person asking you, you know, intuitively, we're going to figure this out, but they just don't have the answer. And, and spirit saying, you know, <laughs> we got to do it together somehow. Okay. Final messages, please, spirit, please share with me any messages that are going to happen. What is going to happen? We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes for a shot with you. So there's definitely, whether it's on your side or their side, it's definitely a feeling of we, we're going to figure this out together somehow. And we just don't have the answers yet, but we are going to get ourselves out of a situation I really do care, even though I don't show it. I'm scared you will reject me. I'm scared I will lose you even through all of this. This could be the hardest time. This could be the longest that you guys have been apart. This could be a time where you, you're kind of testing each other, testing to see how long you can go without talking or just sometimes seeing, you know, that it's so painful that it is still worth being together, even if we have to fight for it. So spirit, please share with me. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. I do believe in the intensity. You deserve better than them. So you could be saying, I, I'm not doing this anymore. I, I can't. I underestimated how important you are in my life. I know that we have a soul connection. And I do believe that your souls are trying to reconnect. So we just don't have the answers is how it's coming into me because there's this complication, whether it's third party, children, divorces, distance, 
something that's a very difficult way for us to be together. And it's going to take time to unravel or it's going to take time for to come up with a solution of what we would have to do to be together. But I do feel like our souls are trying to figure it out. I've been working on myself. I ran because I wasn't ready, wasn't ready for this big change in my life that would have to take place. I want to treat you the way that you deserve. I want to be better for you. And I regret what I did. So there's the apologies. There's the I feel ashamed. I feel that your person is trying to find their way home to you. I really do. I At least I feel like their soul is. I feel like the souls are trying to find their way back together. And then the 3D is struggling with some complications and obstacles and sabotage and I don't know, some kind of crazy. But I feel like this, these two souls are trying to find their way back to each other. So I'm going to put it out to the universe that these souls do find their way. I am. Um, I'm going to say that this message was finds you be, right before these two souls find their way back together. So we're going to put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. Very difficult reading. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, I'll put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. Thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. Please join the channel if you're new. If this was your first time, hit that like button, everybody. And we'll see you guys all again in another Love Messages real soon.